And you'll have to bear with me because I don't often do lives. I usually will record, edit, because I tend to, you know, go over myself. And yeah, so <laughs> you're going to have to bear with me. We're talking about authenticity today, so it seems really fitting. So um, I, I really haven't used this much, so I don't know if I can see your comments. I don't know if you can see me. So that's a thing too. And yeah, let's hope this is working. So today I want to talk about authenticity. Thing right now. Let's talk about me. I have been struggling this last little while, and I don't think it's so much about COVID itself. I think it's more about, you know, okay, a little backstory. Let's start there. So, I have been a creative my whole life. I have uh, been an artist and uh, course content, like I, I've been teaching uh, creativity, art, so much uh, my whole life. I got into healing about 15 years ago and added that to my repertoire and, and continued to teach with that. And then in the last few years, it's healing with creativity. And my personal life, I have become more and more authentic with every year. Part of its age, not all of it, but most of it is the work that I've done to change myself. And it's been hard. It's been hard work. Becoming an authentic person is hard. And I would say in my personal life, I rank right up there with authenticity. In my business life, I'm finally, I'm finding that may not be as true. And it I'm stumbling over my words because it upsets me to even share that with you. It because I I thought I was doing all the right things. I thought I was sharing the best of me. And I think that may have been true. I shared the best parts of me and you only saw that um that part I wanted you to see. So in business, I wasn't being my most authentic self. And I've had a lot of conversations lately about authenticity. And I've been afraid in business to share my most authentic self because I'm quirky and weird. I have Asperger's. I don't think the same way other people do. I struggle with weird things, noises and... Um, food textures and so many things that other people don't have a problem with, I struggle with. I struggle with the weirdest things. And my people in my in my personal life, they know that. They know how weird I am and they know that it's okay and they love me anyway. And the ones that don't have fallen away and, and that's okay. But in my business life, I've been afraid to share that. And so when I was writing the blog this week about authenticity, it felt really important to share that with you um, and let you know I'm weird. <laughs> I'm really weird. And so I'm going to try and show more of that authentic self to you on a regular basis. I've avoided doing lives for that reason because it's I can't edit it. I can't change it. You're going to get me. So if I tear up <laughs> like I just did or if I say the wrong thing, it's real. I've had people contact me recently um, about some of the things I've said and really great feedback. I'm not complaining, but it's also compounded that worry I've had about how I, how I present myself business wise. So I really do appreciate the feedback. And if you have something to say, please just send me a message because I take it all to heart. And I think it's so important. Um, to learn and grow on a regular basis. And that's what I'm doing right now in my business. I'm scrambling right now to um, provide the best for you because I just want to help. I want to help. Um, 
And so I'm, I'm providing free content and paid content and I, I'm going to be putting together a coaching package and a membership package and I want to do all these things for you because I want to make sure that you all have something that works for you. Um, and in the meantime, I'm kind of going a little bit crazy with it all, trying to find the best way to help you. So any feedback you can give me, I absolutely appreciate. So just wanted to share that. Um, also on this live, hopefully it's live, and I'm not just talking to myself. Uh, I had put out the question, let's talk Tuesday, um, to ask me questions about creativity, healing, and healing with creativity. This week, there weren't any questions, but it's brand new, so totally understandable, but I would love any questions you have, and we can talk about that. Um, I've attached this week's blog link so that you can uh, read the blog. There's also a, a first step to help you um, and, and talk about sort of what's authentic to you, maybe a, <coughs> excuse me, a struggle you're having, or as one, one small step you can take to make your life better at this moment. Um, so <clears throat> I apologize, my voice seems to be doing. I just want you to know that I am here for you and please reach out with anything that I can help you with. Um, any course ideas you have, what you need in the free content, because I'm going to be starting that, what you'd like to see in the membership. I really would like to help out with coaching people. Um, I do have some coaching clients right now, and this is a really hard time. And, and it's, so we've stepped it up a little bit and added some more so that they, they can sort of process through all of this. And we're all processing differently, right? And I've heard a lot of people recently say they're not creating. And right now we need to be creating because that's how we're going to work through all of this. So <sighs> breathing. So I've put together a four week program to get our morning started on a calm routine note. So routine is so important also right now. So starting on the 20th, we're going to be doing a daily, a daily meditation, journaling and discussion. So I really hope you can join in that. You'll find that on our website to sign up for that. Um, also, you know, just reach out if you need some one on one. Uh, I want to put it together a group coaching so we can get a group of people together who maybe need some help to to get through all of this. And I'll be doing some free content on some exercises to work through things. So those are just some of the things that I wanted to mention today. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be trying to do more lives so you get to know me a little better, not the recorded version of me. So hopefully that will help me open up and become my most authentic self to you because I care about the people I work with. I care about the people who are taking my programs. I care about you because I just want to help. That's why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this because it's about the money. Although honestly, I do have to pay my bills. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not what it's about. I want to help. And I mean, if I just wanted to make money, I would go into project management. That's what I did for 25 years, right? So I'm here because I know how much this helps and I want to help you. So please let me help you and reach out and let me know how I can do that. So I just want to thank you if you've watched this now or later. And um, please leave a comment. Let me know that you watched it and yeah, you know, I'm weird and it's okay, something like that. <laughs> so hopefully I will see you more often and we'll have some a chance to chat. And I will figure out how I can see if you're, um, oh, there's somebody in Dubai. So just saying hi, <laughs> mom, thank you. Um, I just figured out how to uh, see the comments. So that's good. Uh, I'll figure this out. We'll figure it out together and just bear with me, okay? So have an amazingly creative day and I just wish for you the best and really look after yourself right now. It's so important and let me know how I can help you. All right, thanks so much. Thank you for listening in. 
Please remember to like, share, subscribe wherever you are watching and listening. You can find us at www.creativeu.ca.